Uh, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Gladwell Kozak. If you're new here, uh, please do feel welcome. And my for my returning viewers, thank you very much for stopping by. Uh, today I am in my kitchen. I'm just showing you, uh, this is a very simple video. I'm just showing you what I usually uh, do over the weekend. It's a Sunday afternoon. I have already prepared for uh, another week of uh, work. So I usually prepare, uh, as you can see here on the tape, on the countertop, it is um, banana bread. I bake that one uh, nice and early in the morning. Usually I buy bananas um, uh, one week before. So whatever is left over, usually around four bananas, I usually let them ripen completely before I make a banana bread, which will be eaten uh, throughout the week. Uh, I haven't done anything major other than just made dinner for us. The most uh, interesting thing is just recently, I just found uh, in our local supermarket, I found a uh, white maize or corn, which is not sweet, unlike uh, sweet corn. And uh, I decided to uh, make a Kenyan dish for my family and i am looking forward to having dinner tonight and so are my children so i have made this um so uh, in here is um the maize uh, the white maize and there is the different uh, three varieties of beans i have made as well there is carrot there is some uh, pork meat which i have all cooked together first of all i i had to boil completely for a couple of hours the maize meal uh before i made the stew and then i mixed them together so i am really looking forward to our evening dinner dinner and uh this uh cabbage is just to accompany the dish because obviously you need a little bit of roughage when you are eating this kind of dish uh, the other thing I did is I just did a little bit of organizing on my um, shelvings for the um, spices. I do have a lot of spices. Some of the spices I uh, tend not to use as much as my husband does use them. Uh, so this is my uh, spice space uh, per se. So there is the spice... Uh, jars which are uh, bigger because we tend to use uh, the, those spices more often unlike the ones which are in uh, smaller jars so there is all sorts of uh, spices around in here um, there is ones which are also in some containers and all that kind of stuff at the, at the very back which are not used as often and uh, yeah my husband is the one there is all sorts there is spices and there is also um like this one marjoram there is also uh the um, uh, herbs as well so it's not only spices it's also uh herbs so my husband is big on using all kinds of different uh spices i like this one because we can close in the 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 drawer on this one uh, and then i like this spice uh jar which uh you do not have to see it is uh has name tags on the um, container so uh they are just tucked in and that way it makes the kitchen uh nice and uh and and neat so you're not seeing uh too much cl clutter the other thing is also my um jar my my the, the container for the oils because we tend to also use different kinds of oils so uh, as you can see we cook with uh, different kinds of oil and we also do a lot of different kinds of salads so all these uh, i usually want them near handy when i am either uh, cooking or i am um, preparing a salad usually uh we use all these spices all these uh oils and uh and uh and uh 
for the for the for the for the salad dressing or for uh, cooking. So guys, um, as I said, I haven't uh, done much in the last la uh, last couple of days, but I do feel that um, I will be getting back to uh, normal. I would want to actually uh, be walking you through uh, some of the pots that I bought recently, and I will be buying a couple of more uh, at the end of the month. So I will want to be showing you uh, this one I bought uh, uh, in ProCook and I want to actually show you all together when they are a couple of, 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 uh, of them as a set because I absolutely love them and I think uh, it is a good, I would highly recommend for people who are looking for ex extra durable uh, cookware, those are some of them to look for, although I can say they are quite pricey. Uh, as you can see, I don't know here if you can see the tag here is uh, Pro Cook uh, Professional uh, Granite because this um, cooking pot is uh, especially uh, made from granite and it's something that i didn't know uh, i would actually really like and because i have bought two and i have tried them for the last couple of months and i absolutely love them and i think it's something that i will be showing you uh soon when i buy at least a few so it's a complete set and then i'll be showing you um i'll be sharing with you uh why i think it is a good steal and uh, something that you can think of to go and, and, and uh, get for yourselves. Other than that, I do not have much to uh, share with you. Uh, I am just about to go and have my afternoon tea and put my feet up and uh, yeah, rest and prepare for the next day, for the next week. And uh, I do hope this video, even though it is short, it is not having big a big theme, but it is something that um, will let you know I am still out there. I am still planning to do some videos, and uh, yeah, and I do hope you're going to have a lovely, lovely week. And uh, thank you for stopping by. Bye for now.